Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. College ranking withdrawal The very first SAT was administered in 1926, and just over 40 years later Bowdoin College pioneered an optional exam policy for admissions. Over the years a slow trickle of schools followed, and since the pandemic the majority of four-year colleges and universities across the U.S. have introduced similar policies. It took nearly a century for institutions to recognize the limitations and injustices of standardized tests as we know them. Will it be longer before a critical mass of colleges publicly acknowledge the shortcomings of commercial rankings? Nearly 30 years old, Reed College dropped out of U.S. News and World Report rankings and refused to submit data or complete the reputation survey in 1995. In 2007, the presidents of 12 colleges and universities, in partnership with the Education Conservancy, sent a letter to their colleagues, asking them to complete the survey not to fill in GNU's rankings in their institutional marketing. While they garnered over 50 signatures at the time, some of these schools have quietly returned to the drug college rankings in the years since. Despite much criticism, misreporting of data, and evidence of injustice, rankings remain a dominant and addictive force in college admissions. Higher rank means more applicants, resulting in a lower acceptance rate, which unfortunately is a primary way many applicants judge the quality and prestige of colleges. Jonathan Burdick, Vice-Chancellor for Enrollment at Cornell University, points out the fundamental flaw of rankings, saying, The methodology is not rigorous enough to guide most prospective students to think, much less to support their final decision about it, where they can best invest their time, their money and part of their personal identity. So the risks outweigh the benefits. He adds, the broader the category gets, the more difficult it becomes to ensure that the different metrics used are measuring the same phenomena on each campus. So the broad rankings can, 